Mega Man X4. But if I die as X, the video ends. Let's get this started. I wonder how radical he really is. I decided to give X and Zero their own separate videos because since both are playable in this game, I thought it'd be a good idea to have uh, two separate videos. So like this video is X and the next video is going to be Zero. So stay tuned for that. So for this video, we can play as X. So here we go. This is the opening stage. And I tell you this, this is the best Mega Man X game of all time. Like personally, like it perfected the controls, level design, like everything. It's just like... Sure, the story would be pretty whack, but I mean, it's actually so bad it's good. Like, I just love this game so much, and it's no other Mega Man X game is going to top this anytime soon. Maybe if I like, get a hypothetical Mega Man X9 in the future, which God knows what happened. Y'all heard about the Minecraft Mega Man collaboration, which is like very, it's very weird, but it's actually interesting. Like, then again, let me know once see end video on that. I never played Minecraft before, and I mean, it's Mega Man X, so why not? Okay, so, uh, and, you know, pretty straightforward opening stage. You do get a mini-boss at the second half of the opening stage. Oh, that's your life. Nice. Okay, got that. On to text and dialogue. I mean, this is the, when the exterior started to, like, go a bit overboard with text and dialogue, especially X5. But the X4 is not that bad at all, so... Okay, on to second half. So, I mean, this is like when the, like, the whole city is like all um, destroyed and everything like that too. It's a very straightforward. Also, another thing too is that, what's it called? Each, uh, you play like both X or Zero separately. Like, they have their own like different uh, opening theme, which is actually a nice attention to detail actually, which I like. Personally, X's theme is more uh, better than Zero's, but Zero's is still really good. I mean, come on, it's Zero. He's the best X character of all time, personally. Mega Man X version Zero, not the Zero version, which, I mean, the Zero version of Zero is, you know, good. But personally, the X version of Zero is God tier. Scared there, of all time. And over here is, like, where you get a, uh, extra life and extended health, so let's go here. The stuff from X2 returns, but I don't even for, like, this part here, and... I'm not sure there's another part of the stage. It's been a while since I played X4. Should definitely get around doing that. And here's our first, well, the only opening, you know, mini boss, which is a, a you know, a giant dragoon, which is nice. Very, very easy boss fight, too. So, all you do is just, like, you know, like, use your X Buster to, uh, take him down. With Zero, it's actually a little bit more difficult, but, like, X is, like, you know, pretty easy. We're gonna go to Storm Owl because I mean, like, this is a video. Usually I go to Magnum Dragoon first, but since this is a video, let's go to Storm Owl. And you know, this is actually the best X stage of all time. Like, it has platforming. It's just like the best platforming at any X game, period. Oh boy. Got the Wire Armors too, actually, which is nice. It's kind of crazy, you know, what's it called? That, um, like, X3, you know, X3 ain't bad at all, but like, like I said before, it's very, very repetitive and tedious, especially like getting all the collectibles too. But X4 is like, you know, basically like X1 again, but except like even better. I love this game so much. It's personally like... Damn! <laughs> 